run in. Oh. <laughs> and I know it's a lot of holidays coming up, like Easter and Mother's Day and wedding season. You're gonna be dressing up a lot for a lot of them. So if you're kind of like a spiffy dresser like me, you might be wearing a bow tie. But I don't need no clip-on bow tie. I don't need no clip-on bow tie. So this, er, I need to use the real deal. So an actual tying bow tie. So uh, me and my brother Brennan are gonna be watching a YouTube video to see how to tie our very own bow tie. And me nor Brennan has ever even attempted to try our own, to tie our own bow tie. So, man, it's gonna be hard. So the way you want to start is to have um, the right hand, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed, whichever is more convenient for you, um, one hand is going to be longer than the other one. You don't want, uh, depending on the kind of finish you have on your bow tie, uh, you might want to adjust uh, the length so that you have enough width to tie the knot and, and, make, it, uh, and make it easy for yourself. So, this is where you start. The, the right hand should be slightly longer because I'm right handed. You go over the shorter hand, pull it out under, that's step one. And you don't worry about the longer side. So once you're in this position, it's pretty much like tying a shoelace. So what you want to do is bring up the shorter side uh, sideways like this. Pull down the longer part over, and then uh, it will uh, it will be the, the middle of the knot. And then all you have to do is fold the, the part in your right hand and slide I'm it still trying to get the side to part. that you've created. And then you just you gently tighten the knot, and it's like magic. The, kn let's, the knot let's, starts let's, to let's, let's, so let's just pull on the uh, back. A with to tie the knot and, and make it uh, and make it easy for you for yourself. So, so right hand's longer. So right this is where you start. The, the right hand should be slightly longer because I'm right handed. You go over the shorter hand. Over. So the short end, right? So this is where you start. The, the right hand should be slightly longer because I'm right handed. You go over the shorter hand, pull it out under, that's step one. And you don't worry about the longer side. So once you're in this position, it's pretty much like tying a shoelace. So what you want to do is bring up the shorter side uh, sideways like this, pull down longer part over and then uh, it, will, uh, it will be the, the middle Why of the Why isn't top. it like this? And then all you have to do is... It should be, it should be like... In the, in over, so over the shorter end. Pull it out under. That's step one. I'm done. Sorry. And you don't worry about the longer side. So once you're in this position, it's pretty much like tying a shoelace. So what you want to do is bring up the shorter side uh, sideways like this, pull down the longer part over, and then uh, it, will, uh, it will be the, the middle of the I can't the even get the first step. Like and then all you have to do is fold I get a regular side? The, the part in your right hand and slide it inside the loop that you created. That doesn't make any sense. I need to create a loop that I can slide it through. Gently Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm just gonna do this one more time. So, so this is where you start. The, the um, right hand should be slightly longer because I'm right handed. You go over the shorter hand, pull it out under, that's step one. And you don't worry about the longer side. So once you're in this position, it's pretty much like tying a shoelace. So what you want to do is bring up the shorter side uh, sideways. So bring up the shorter side sideways. Is that wait, like... wait, wait, wait. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to do the first step. Uh, it's... Does this look like... I think that's cool. Wait, what? Is it good like that? Like this? What? 
Yes. Pull down. Longer path over, and then I will uh, shoot. It will be the, the middle of the knot. Is it like that? And then all you have to do is fold the, the part in your right hand and slide it in inside the loop that you created. And then you just in the, the middle of the knot. Pull down. That's step one. And you don't worry about the longer side. So once you're in this position, it's pretty much like tying your shoelace. So what you want to do is bring up the shorter side uh, sideways like this, pull down the longer part over, and then uh, it, will, uh, it will be the, the middle of the knot. And then all you have to do is fold the, the part in your right hand and slide it in inside the loop that you created. And then you just gently tighten the knot and it's like magic the knot the knot starts to you just pull on uh, on different ends like uh, the one that are opposed to each other so if you're pulling the back end uh, with your right hand you want to pull the front yep. end with your left hand and then right. until you this wow is awesome. okay <laughs> how do you this is how do you do it Hey guys, so that was really difficult. Uh, we're gonna keep practicing though, because when we go on vacation, apparently we have to wear one. So uh, it's gonna be hard. Um, you're tying it, by the way. Um, okay, so. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this was Ryan in the Wild. See you later. Come on, yeah, Signing right. off. Thanks Signing for watching. Off. Goodbye. Like, Comment subscribe. If you like, subscribe if you like. I mean, we're not gonna force you to. I mean, you know, it's cool. We're, we're laid back, you know. All right, see you guys.